Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance using the e AMI that you have just created or the Amazon machine image that you have created on yourself, right? So if you do not know how to create custom AMI, so I have created a video on that. So you, you will find the link to that video in the description box below. Right, so you can watch that video on how to create an image basically. All right, so without wasting much time, let us get into the AWS control and start creating an EC2 instance by using the image that we have created. Okay, so let me go to console.aws.com. So this is my console and if I go to EC2 section right now if you see I have one EC2 instance that is running so the instance name is instance to create AMI so basically I have created an AMI using this particular instance but if you want to create a new EC2 instance using the AMI that you have created go to AMI under images you have AMIs so select the image that you want so this is the AMI that I just created okay so this is the AMI ID and this is the name AMI name this is the source owner and the status and creation date everything all the details uh, related to that AMI will be available to here so now we are concerned about creating an EC2 instance using this particular AMI so how to do that so check this box so if you see in the right hand section you have a button called launch instance file AMI so if you click on that so it will de re redirect you to the EC2 instance page so basically you so you have aware of how to create an EC2 instance right so if you click on that it will take you to the launch launch an EC2 instance page okay so here the only difference is basically previously we were selecting our image basically we were selecting Amazon Linux to Ubuntu Windows Mac so those were all the AMIs that were present previously so if you are going to create an AM, uh, EC2 instance by the AMI that you have created so you do not select that so you will go with the AMI from catalog so this is the AMI that have the name of the AMI I'm, and this is the AMI ID. I'm creating an AM, uh, EC2 instance by using this particular AMI. Okay, so to do that. So basically the image that I've created, what is uh, what it is having is I have installed Nginx on that. So by default, the machine image that you use Amazon machine image. So it does not comes with a Nginx server installed on that. So what I did, I created an EC2 instance, installed Nginx and then converted that EC2 instance to an AMI. And then right now what I'm doing is I'm launching an EC2 instance by using the Amazon machine image. Okay. So basically if I launch this instance, it will come with the pre-installed Nginx server on that. Okay, so we'll create this EC2 instance and check if Nginx is installed on in that particular instance or not. So the name of the instance that I'm going to give is AMI instance. Okay, so because I'm creating this EC2 instance from the AMI, so I'm giving it as AMI instance. So this is the AMI I'm going to select, instance type, I'm good with that. And you can also go with the key pair, I'm going with this one. Uh, VPC I'm good with this uh, everything is fine for me so I'm not going to alter any uh, anything that is AWS suggesting so I'm allowing SSH traffic and I'm okay with that and I'll just go ahead and launch an EC2 instance okay so let me go and click on view all instances so if you see right now I only have uh, instance to create AMI so that was created uh, to create any EC2 instance okay so after a few time after a few seconds you should see another EC2 instance if you see AMI EC AMI instance that we just created it is still in pending state 
and the status check is also empty so what we'll do i'll pause the recording and i'll come back once the instance state changes to running and also the status check is 2 by 2 passed now if you see the instance that we created ami instance the instance state has been changed to running and the status check 2 by 2 passed so let us verify if the instance is having nginx installed so how to do that first let us connect to this instance okay so to connect to this instance i'm going with ec2 instance connect method so click on connect here and you have four different options i'm going with the first one that is ec2 instance connect click on connect so it will open up a terminal in the web page, web console so you can uh, start running all your commands from the web console itself now if you see we logged into the ec2 instance that we created by default all the ec2 instances will not come with the nginx install so as i am creating this ec2 instance with the custom ami that i created so it should have nginx installed how to check that so there is a command to check that in, uh, installation so you if you see this one status of nginx service if you run this command along with sudo it should it should be active and running so let's see or it should come with the installation at least okay so let me give in sudo and paste that command so now if you see it is inactive but it is it is coming with the installed step so i did not go and install anything here but nginx service is there but it is not running right now so let me start it so it is very simple to start nginx so basically you just have to change the status to start okay so i'll run this one now let us check the status again now if you see it is active and running so i did not install anything it came with the installation steps but i just activated it that means it was not running i changed it to running okay so this is how you can create your own custom ami and launch an ec2 instance using the ami that you have created okay so hope you like this video if you did like the video please like this video subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends okay thank you